a stroll through the world and the works of Key West artist Wayne Garcia and Andy Thurber is much like flipping through the scrapbook pages of a shared boyhood in bygone Key West. You can view their work right now at the gallery on Green Street. Last week I spoke with Andy Thurber. Today I'll be speaking with artist Wayne Garcia. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. All right, Wayne, why don't you start by sharing with our viewers one of your favorite old Key West memories. Sure. You know, when, when I was a kid and uh, we grew up there on Simonton Street, you know, one of my favorite memories were Saturday mornings, you know, during the summertime and stuff. And uh, most of the family would come by the house and, and my uh, grandmother, my mother uh, would be there um, and, and different characters would come by. And um, I remember uh, clearly you know, those Saturday mornings getting up and, and my cousin would come over and ask us to play baseball and, and just the feel uh, of, of that family and of Key West, you know, inspired me to do a carving and, and it's one of my new carvings that I'm doing, uh, which is uh, Old Island Ways. And, um, and, and w when we had uh, a time where we could play on the sidewalks, there mm -hmm. wasn't uh, much traffic in time and stuff we would uh we would sit there and and um, and do different things and then you know from time to time an old friend of my parents would come an old man or this or another and we and we had one one guy that would come by every saturday morning his name was miami mm -hmm. and miami would come and and greet my my parents and my grandmother and stuff and then he'd he'd tell us these amazing stories of his travels around and uh, later on we found out he never left Olivia Street, but <laughs> he would tell the stories of, of his grand travels. And every time before he'd leave, uh, he was a little bit of a fortune teller. Mm -hmm. And he would tell my brother, you know, you like to, uh, to argue with your, with your brothers and sisters, but you always come to their defense. And I think someday you'll either be a policeman or an attorney. And my brother's an attorney here in Key West now. <laughs> That's good. And That's then he good. would turn to me and he'd, he'd call me Redhead. And he said, you, you Redhead, you someday... Uh, we'll probably work with your hands and with tools because you like to play with your dad's tools and his shovels and picks mm -hmm. and stuff. And so uh, before he'd leave, we'd always ask him, where are you heading? And he says, I'm heading to Miami. <laughs> and thus the, the nickname Miami. Miami, yeah, okay. You know. Well, that's and, good. And so <laughs> I was inspired to do a carving mm -hmm. of the neighborhood of Saturday mornings uh, in Old Key mm -hmm. West and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Well, and so. I love it. And I know that it was definitely different, Old Key West, and that's what you and Andy Mm -hmm. Thurber have really been able to portray right. in all of your work is right. old old Key West old and kind West. of the the long and slow mm -hmm. summer days. That's right, and you know um, sandlot baseball games. Uh, when I got older, you know I remember um, going down uh, Duval Street when there wasn't so you know so much tourism and and so many people. And, and that's not a bad thing. I'm glad that there's tourism and stuff. But it was a different uh, slower time, and uh, when uh, you could remember the taxi company number by heart it was five sixes you know and so <laughs> I, don't, I don't care how uh, how bad it got you can get a taxi home and stuff. so <laughs> well, that was great. Key West. Now Wayne mm -hmm. this is actually your first exhibit in Key West so that's mm -hmm. that's exciting for you and what I find interesting Wayne is that your career is in contracting mm -hmm. this is very different from that uh, how did you get into carving? Well you know um, years ago uh, we were doing a job my father and I uh, for uh, Mario Sanchez, the, uh, the great Key West uh, artist and carver, uh, for his brother. And uh, I noticed an old man next door, and he was carving on a piece of wood. So I went over and talked to him, and, and he told me, you know, I asked him, what are you doing? He says, tallando, which is carving, you know. And I watched him for a few days while we worked there and stuff. And, and um, I, I, I kind of was interested in that type of thing, the way he used the chisel and the hammer and stuff, and, and some of the stuff that we do, but on, on doors and windows and things. And so uh, years later, I was uh, remodeling my house, and, and, a, and a cousin of my wife's uh, had some carvings at his house, and they were on the floor. You know, I, I don't know who exactly who the artist was, and I said, "Can I have one of those? You know, for, for my new room?" And he says, "Oh no, that that's worth three or four thousand dollars." And I said, "Man, I, I can do that." Mm -hmm. And so I went home and I did a small carving for my wife, and, and that's where it began. You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and I've done them over the years, and and then Nance gave me the opportunity to bring them over to. Uh, the gallery 
on Green Street. So. Great. And your exhibit will be on display for a couple more weeks now, That's Old right. Island Way, so people can view it by just going to the gallery on Green Street. Mm -hmm. I find it so interesting that you actually were able to learn under Mario Sanchez. He, w he was a mentor and a friend. Yes, he was a friend of mine and a mentor. And um, uh, years after that first meeting, I met, uh, was able to meet him again. I was doing a, a job for a family member of his. And I always wanted to find out how he took the image from a paper bag Mm -hmm. to the wood and uh, he was outside one day and I asked him I said Mario you know what's what's the, te uh, the, the technique for that and he said well he, he said I was a stenographer and a typist as, as a youth you know when he was a young man he says and I use carbon paper so he would do his sketches on a, on a grocery bag mm -hmm. and then transfer them over to the wood using carbon paper and he taught me that technique and uh, and a few other things and, I've, and then I've studied his work after that so yes he, he definitely has been a mentor and, and a uh, and an inspiration to me. Great. Anyway. Well, he would be proud well, of your you. work today. And again, mm -hmm. everybody can view it at the gallery on Green Street. That's right. Wayne, I look forward to seeing some more of your work in the future. Do you hope to have another exhibit someday soon? Yeah, I've got I've got a million ideas and a million stories up Good. here somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, as as much as Key West changes and as much as things happen, uh, it's still our island. And and. Uh, and I see some of the changes for good, and, and I, I enjoy the energy that's happening now in, in the island and stuff, and new carvings are up. You know, a few years back, I was sitting on, on my porch on Simonton Street, and I had allowed my, my uh, son and his, uh, his cousin to play on the sidewalk. And, uh, and I was reminiscing about old Key West mm -hmm. and saying, but you know, it's, it's still good now. And I noticed that they were talking to someone, and I... Uh, when the person walked off, I asked my son, I said, Gregory, who were you talking to? And he says, oh, Dad, just an old man on his way to Miami. And that's Key West. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's I love it. <laughs> yeah, so. Like father, like son. Yeah. Whoa, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being on well, this Well, I morning appreciate and, being here. And I'll definitely be down at the gallery to check out your work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. Back after these messages.